My name is Benny Leach, and my husband Justin and I live in Southeast Portland, and at one time we had 13 cats in our yard. I own Josephine's Dry Goods, a fabric store. I own that with my sister-in-law. We took over a few years ago, and then my husband, we've been here for 16 years, 17 years now. Uh, it was it was the middle of the night when you're just stumbling to the restroom and I thought I saw a snow leopard outside. It, it was big and it was it didn't look like a cat. It was so white and magical. It, it just didn't seem real hunting in the bushes. The snow leopard turned out to be a, a majestic mother with three adorable babies. I started to feed them under a tree that was right where she would come out. And so then I started slowly feeding them closer and closer to the porch because it would rain and, you know, the food would get wet. And so I thought, well, I want them to know that they're safe on the porch. And they slowly came up. I didn't realize that the three kittens that we were helping would soon have 10 more. So then they had the kittens um, and there was 10 of them. <laughs> and we were like, whoa, 10 cats, what are we gonna do? Um, so then that's when we were like, we gotta trap them. We reached out and that the pandemic was in full swing. And so everything was at a halt. So that at that point we decided that we were just gonna focus on getting them as used to us as possible. And then I have to show you, my dad painted this for the for the fabric shop because I had so many that I was trying to rehome. It's embarrassing. People are walking by the yard and taking pictures. They're like, look at the cats, oh, the cat. You know, it's, a, it, it's an ordeal. Um, and the neighbor's saying, hey, you know, what are we gonna do about the cats? And we're like, we're trying to trap them, you know? It was mixed emotions because what do you do? I mean, you, are you supposed to not help animals? That's That doesn't seem right to me. So it was just like, I'm feeding them, I'm taking care of them, I'm watching them. You know, I, I don't know what else you can do. What are you supposed to do? But I definitely felt shame. And I think that that comes with um, having addiction in your past. So you almost feel like, am I addicted to having stray cats? Like, is that is that part of this? No, it's not, you know, it's not your fault that the cats bred and found your yard, you know? It's, you just are ingrained in feeling a certain sort of shame about having a bunch of cats in your yard. The Feral Cat Coalition has been a dream. Um, they they provided me with traps. They told me exactly how to do it. All the fears that I had about having to starve a cat to get it to go into a cage, all of those preconceived notions about how difficult it's gonna be was so easy. And then you wanna ask questions, but then they, they send you information like, here's a quick video. And it is a quick video of what to do how to get them in the cage, how to treat them after the surgery. Of course, I was nervous about if they were gonna be mad at me, if they were gonna still trust me, um, how that was gonna, how, how they were gonna heal. It, it was, it was easy. They were, they were glad to be home. Um, they, they ate normally. They took them a day or two to warm up to being petted again, but the ones that actually let me pet them are still, you know, my friends. I was amazed that, you know, all they're asking is for a $40 donation um, to do this spay and neuter. It's amazing. And it, it there's no, no feeling of like having to feel guilty about what you can give and what you can't. It's a great resource. It's amazing. Thank you.